Hi, I'm Harry with Cystic Customer Success. Today we're going to learn about time and group aggregations in Cystic Monitor. Cystic collects metrics at 10 second resolution, but when looking at longer periods of time, it can be both difficult and confusing to render every single of those data points onto a single graph. You could end up with hundreds of thousands of data points when looking at 30 days worth of data, for example. This is why you don't see the raw submitted values in statistic graphs. Instead, we aggregate data into 60 second, 1 minute, 10 minute, 1 hour, and 1 day windows, or timelines. Depending on the time frame you've selected, you'll see a different number of data points on a statistic graph. For example, when selecting 1 minute worth of data, you'll see 6 different intervals with each data point on this graph representing the value submitted during each 10 seconds interval. If I select one day worth of data, you'll see around 140 different data points. Each of these data points are representing the value submitted during each of these 10 minute intervals. With Cystic's time aggregation selector, you can choose whether you want to see the average of these values, which is the default, or you can choose the rate, sum, minimum, or maximum. For most metrics, average is fine, but sometimes we care about the maximum with metrics that have an upper limit, such as MySQL use connections. With average, we may be a in connections resulting in failed queries, but here we can easily identify the spikes. Compare the average to the maximum. Let me change to a different metric. After we've performed time aggregation, we're then going to perform group aggregation. Time aggregation is always performed before group aggregation. The line on this graph can represent many different resources or entities. In this case, because I've selected a Kubernetes cluster, my entities will be each web server in this cluster serving HTTP requests. For example, each value in this connection graph is the average across my different web servers in my cluster. I can choose whether I want to see the average of the values in my group, or I can choose to see the sum, minimum, or maximum. Sometimes group aggregation doesn't apply such as when viewing the CPU usage of a single host, or a StatsD metric emitted from a single source. For most metrics, again, by term aggregation, average is perfectly fine. But when we're interested in the count of things, such as this metric, we'll want to use sum. This will allow us to see the total HTTP connections across my cluster, instead of the average of each web server. That's it for now. Thanks for watching this short video about time and group aggregation in Cystic Monitor.